Hey guys, Brian here. Welcome back to the shop. Bailey has been out barking up business. Figured some work needed to get done, buy some more concrete. And we've got a little job here on a rake pin that's broke. Doing an inspection, qualification. Let's see the snapped off pin here. This was what was up inside. And they, it's a rectangular tube, so they just put some flat stock on each side and welded it in. Had to drill the plugs out to get it apart. So I'm gonna clean that up. And that piece of material there is gonna get turned and drilled and tapped to slip up in there. And that's all I gotta do on this job, so it should be pretty quick. Inspector says it was 108 degrees today with the heat index, and it's just not worth getting up to do any inspecting. So that's why if you hear any fan noise in the background, you got to either hear the fan or you can probably not have me anymore because it'd be too hot and I'll be dead. And maybe Bailey too, because it's way, way, way too hot. Mm -hmm. Alright, this is three inch. We want to take it to two and three quarters. I think this would be a good time to do some heavy turning. So I think I'm just going to rip it in one shot. Why not, right? size on that one shot hit. Two seven forty two. So a little under, but that'll give it something to slip up into the hole. Since both ends need turned and everybody likes to see chips made, and that was a nice little display of chip making, let's uh, see if we can't hit this better. I readjusted my end feed to compensate for what it was taking off. A lot of times when you're running uh, a heavy pass like that, it'll peel off more than what it would if you were just doing a spring pass over it because I guess it there's so much force where it's shearing it off, the point goes out further and it'll actually cut deeper. So we've got it backed off and I think it ought to be able to hit 2750 pretty close this time. We'll see how it does.
2751, not bad. Didn't put too much heat in it. I know y'all like the chip pile. Isn't that pretty? That could almost be a header on somebody's webpage. Hole needs to be four and a half inches, so I'll zero out the DRO. Come down here four and a half and put a mark so I know where to turn to. close two and a half that was. It's pretty good. Yep, I'm liking that. It's going to be half that depth, so we'll see how it does breaking a chip at that. Probably actually, I'm going to have to slow the feed rate down too. change.
was a 10,000 feed rate. So it's got a nice smooth finish on there. It was breaking a good little chip. That was uh, about an eighth inch off the diameter, so. so Finish the base of this with some radius so maybe it won't break off. I'm gonna say the dimension they gave me wasn't long enough there. Four and a half is quite a bit shorter than this old one, so I'm gonna go ahead and take it on back. I can always put washers on it if it's not turned back enough, but if it won't reach through, it won't work, so.
think that's more of a match for the original. All right, so I got my Logic Industries big boy tap guide. This will be the first actual use I've got out of this. Uh, so normally I do power tapping on the mill, so I don't do a lot of lathe work where I'm actually doing tapping because usually my holes are bolt patterns and not centered. So got my card number 10, uh, lovely tap wrench or T handle and 5 eighths tap. So let's give this a try. And we'll preload. Let's put Chuck in low gear. Give some lube. That's a pretty good job of holding it straight. come out of it there now but should be more than enough in here to keep going straight Be full depth. Well, that's that. Went from this broke up, mangled mess. Take but just a little beating and that'll go up in there. I'll let them do that since they may want to put some pieces back on the side to shim it back up before they weld it in. But that's the finish of my job for this. So thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, I'll catch y'all later.